So you like rocks and you want to make one in Blender. Hey guys, one bad test by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at a rock plugin, which is uh, pretty cool actually. So I want to go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go up to edit, preferences, and we're going to go up here and type in rock in the search bar. And we can just go ahead and take a look at this rock generator. Don't mind this right here. I right, just go up to rock generator um, and make sure that's checked. Then go ahead and hit save preferences. Now we can close that. Yeah, get rid of default cube. Sorry, default cube. Bye. Uh, Shift A on a keyboard, mesh, rock generator, right there. Boom. Now there, it places a rock in the middle of the thing, and now we're done. No, I'm joking. Uh, we're gonna go down here to add rocks, and we have all these different options, which is pretty sweet. We can add a number of rocks, so we can have two different rocks, you know, and we can move them around or whatever. Um, we're just gonna stick for one. We stick with one right now. We can change the scale, of course. So this is pretty cool. Uh, like the oops, pretty cool like that, you know, maybe this uh, degree as well. There we go, uh, which looks pretty sweet. So we we'll put those back both on one. Uh, there we go. Uh, also the Y scale as well and X cube. There we go. Make it a little bit more roundish. Just change around the shape a little bit. Looks kind of weird. There we go. Uh, back on one. There we go. Perfect. Scale displace textures. We don't really need this. As you see what it does right here, we can scale displacement textures with dimensions. So when we have, if we were to have like a, right here, if we have displacement, which we do because it comes with a displacement, if we click this, you'll see that it kind of stretches them a little bit. It kind of stretches the displacement, which doesn't look the best, but it actually is kind of cool, but maybe not for a realistic rock. So we're gonna undo that. Um, and deformation here, we can also just bump that up to, uh, maybe we'll do like, Maybe I want to do a little bit less than that. 3.62? Sure. Roughness, of course, you know what that does. <laughs> it's self-explanatory. Uh, we'll just do that. I don't like the way it pops around like that. It's kind of strange. But at least you know you're getting something random, which is kind of which is kind of sweet. So we have detail level and display detail, which I don't recommend messing around with too much. Um, at least just won't go one by one because uh, it will crash on you. So we'll go ahead and do uh, bump it up to three. Maybe I had this crash on me already. <laughs> Playing around with this display detail right here. <laughs> uh, smooth factor. You can guess. Smooths out some of those harder edges, which is nice. And smooth iterations, of course. And then generate rock. And then use a random seed. We also have presets down here, which is nice. So we have fake ocean, ice, sandstone, asteroid, uh, river rock, and default. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to just move this guy over here. It's like a small little pebble guy. Now we cannot edit, uh, edit those settings anymore. We're going to go ahead and rotate them around a little bit. Maybe face them down on the ground. Something like that, maybe. Looks good, looking good. Uh, there we go. And it kind of has like a little bit of an arch to it too, which is kind of sweet. That's yeah, pretty good. It's like, a, it's like a fat potato chip. That's what it looks like. <laughs> uh, we're going to hit Shift A and add another uh, rock generator in here. We're going to use some defaults. So we're going to use uh, a fake ocean. What does it look like? Ooh, baby. Fake ocean rock, which looks pretty cool. We can bump up the display detail to four there we go so this looks kind of sweet right so we can get like maybe a nice cave floor with this or we can even probably get away with if we were to bump this uh detail up a lot more and put a texture on this maybe we can probably get away with making the same mountain landscape you can see how that would look like uh mountains in the distance right maybe at least uh sand hills like in a uh, desert maybe something um but yeah so let's go ahead and, and do this once again we have ice uh which looks uh, kind of like ice I guess <laughs> I, I, I suppose um, we can go to uh, sandstone oh yeah that definitely looks like sandstone looking good man this one's just this one's my favorite I like this one so far this is my favorite so far uh, we got asteroid which definitely looks like an asteroid oh yeah that's that's an asteroid if I ever saw one um, we can go to river rock which is adorable look how tiny this thing is definitely belongs in a river uh, we can also use random seed turn that on or off uh, random seed. You can just click it on and off until we get one that we like. Uh, that was fine. It's, it's more like a pebble-like stone, right? Which so which is nice for if maybe you're doing a garden, like a uh, uh, in a house. Maybe you need uh, stones, like smooth stones. That, that'd be great for this. Perfect. Uh, maybe a bit thinner, so maybe we'll just like thin it out a little bit, like that. Maybe not that thin, maybe like that. Yeah, perfect. We'll move that one over there too. I should I should have moved the sandstone one over too because I like that one, but. We'll go back, we'll go back. Uh, Shift A, Rock Generator once again. We can go to, uh, oh, that was the last one. Oh, that was the default. Okay, so uh, let me grab that Sandstone one back because that looks 
awesome. Let me do a random seed for that guy because I like the other one better before. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a nice looking one. I like it. I love that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We can play around with the settings with this as well. So we can turn the deformation up and up and down. Get a little bit more of those waves. A little bit more of those signs here, which is pretty nice. Those bands. Uh, maybe something more subtle than Jupiter. <laughs> uh yeah i like that and we have those ridges on the bottom too this one looks really great i love this one a lot this is pretty sweet um so we can do roughness detail uh i think we don't need any more detail than three <laughs> i think it's fine uh we might be able to get away with turning a smooth shade on oh 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 that's strange let's go ahead and get rid of that let's let's move it and then see if we can put shade smooth on afterwards uh, i think we're good i think it's already on that's why okay flat yeah it's already on okay good we're, we're sweet we're good we're good we're good that was weird oh man so we can't do that when the settings are still uh, available to be changed so that was that was a bit weird but we have some we have a couple different types of rocks here which is pretty nice um we can go up we can go ahead and of course add in some materials and to make some materials to these this is the english i'm trying to speak um <laughs> we can turn the specular down the roughness up a little bit maybe get another lamp in here it's a little it's a little harsh but uh but yeah so that's going to be it for the rock generator, just a short and sweet one. I thought it was a pretty cool little add-on that is pretty useful, especially for modeling uh, bigger uh, projects. Maybe, like I said, maybe you, that's a really big size I turned that, that square up to. Um, maybe it's uh, maybe you need some rocks for a garden, like I said, or just nature if you're doing a nature uh, scene, which is pretty sweet. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.